only bad thing about these things is you can't go very fast because the tires will pop. They're easy to change. But if they blow an axle, you're fucked. What did I tell you? Not even five miles down the fucking road. Got a fucking blowout. What would you know, man? We weren't even driving that fast, but these tires are worth like $10. They're pieces of shit. I mean, they're pretty simple to change, but bullshit how they always pop. That's why I told you, you gotta keep the speed limit down real low. Stay tuned. And just like that, we are back in business. But if you know anything about these trailers, man, it's crazy. They're beautiful. Very beautiful double wide trailers. But the worst part about traveling with an oversized load with these is tires. They don't last. I mean, what do you expect? A $15 tire? You get what you kind of get what you pay for. And plus, they come with these tires already on the house. And these trailers sometimes sit inside the yard for a couple years. So that's kind of what you kind of get, man, when you plan on moving one of these. You can't change every single tire every single time. But it's simple. If you look real close, the little star thing. So basically, you just got to take out three little bolts, and it pops right off. It's so simple. Should have got a little video of a demonstration of how it was done, but it's pretty cool. You just take out three bolts, and you take it off. I mean, I took one of these trailers when they were having that fire out in California. I took them about 1,500 miles, but the bad part about traveling with him was that we had to travel change about 65 tires being, being with him the whole time and it's terrible because it, you should never but you got to keep these under 55 miles an hour i mean there's definitely a restriction on what you can do with these and this is just a half of one and then there's another half up in front I'm getting a new windshield today. So happy. If you haven't and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram at Billy's Pilot. B I L L Y S P I L O T. 
We just got to ask if they want us to take them all the way to Carlsbad. So it's not a cross state run no more. It's from Arizona line all the way to Carlsbad, New Mexico. At this speed that we're driving, it's probably gonna take us about seven, eight hours to get there, but hopefully we get there today because I don't wanna sleep in Carlsbad tonight. Hotels are way too expensive. And if people don't know what Carlsbad, New Mexico is, look it up. It's one of the biggest oil-filled countries, just like Midland, Texas, Odessa. Any room around there is around $300 a night. That's oil field money right there, man. Not nothing a pilot car driver wants to pay for. So, stay tuned. We got a long day ahead of us. Beautiful, 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 beautiful long day. Hopefully, we don't blow that many tires on this long trip. But, we'll see. Hopefully, if we do blow out another tire, I'll get a demonstration of how to change a tire. And you'll see it. It'll be pretty awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. This is just the ride. Four hundred and nine thousand miles. Everything's original in this bad boy. Got to keep it up to maintenance. And as long as you keep up maintenance on this bad boy, you'll be good to roll for a while. Gracias.